Hey guys, RC here, back with Climbing the Ladder, our FM20 Journeyman save. We're with FK... Uh, God, who is it? I forgot. I forgot! Damn it. Carl Scrona, that's it. God, mind blank. Um, anyway, last episode was did not go well. Uh, we luckily have rebounded with a 3-0 win over Varnamo, Oscar Lang with a brace, Oscar Frieden with a goal as well, and then Carlsland, we beat them 3-1, Thony, Bergman, and Frieden with goals, and we were up 3-0 before a late goal. Uh, so we have hung on to first position. We are five points clear with three matches to play. We are six points clear with a massive goal differential. Uh, so I believe a win today and a loss by Rosengard, or a draw, actually a win either way, a win should seal playoffs for us. But I wanted to come back because a couple of things. We're going to do a tr triple header today, the first triple header match in my channel's history. Uh, but we are on the verge of... Record number of wins. We have equaled the club record with 17 wins in a season and also record points. We are one point shy of the record points for the club. Also, taking a look, let's go into the development center. Uh, this was our youth intake. Well, I'll come back and sign these guys in a minute, but we, you, you can see we've got a couple of good looking youngsters here. But then I guess in the U19, we have already put these guys up here. I don't know. I suppose age would be the best way to go. So we've got uh, eh, Jacob Olison, a mid-right center player. Looks pretty solid. Uh, we also have uh, a, little, uh, a little defensive player here that looks solid. Johansson's a left center back that looks solid. I was actually looking at this guy as a midfielder. He looks pretty damn good. He's on trial, but he might be ready to play for us. <laughs> I think he might be ready to play for us. Uh, that's Lindbergh. Where's he at? Down here. No, different Lindbergh. Too many Lindbergers. Oh, well, I'll figure that out. Let's get into the matches. We're favored today. Homestead, remember last season, they knocked us out of the playoffs last game of the season so we can get a little bit of retribution. Can we maybe? Oh, they're, they're going down. They've already been relegated. So they've got nothing to play for. Um, I want to try this tactic. Just... Just to swap it up. All right. Lang's going to go out wide. Lindbaum, Thony, more attacking roles. I think this is the tactic that I came up with. So I want tighter marking. I'm not going to go get stuck in. Actually, I don't remember where this tactic came from. We haven't played it all year. I want to work the ball into the box. Uh, we're going to do lower tempo. I mean, we're competent at everything. I just, I just really want to get, I just want to see how the tactic works out. If you guys remember where I came up with this tactic, it wasn't one I downloaded. I can tell just by looking at it. So I don't know if it's one I just kind of picked up, you know, put together just to have one. Maybe. Could be. I'll bail on it in a heartbeat if I need to. All right, Sundstrom off the throw in. Lang. Oh, was he offsides? Looks like it. Yep, offsides. I had to look down at the bottom. I wish those were all up here because this is the top part is where we always look for stuff. And then they throw stuff at the bottom. Get creative. All right. We have only managed one shot. We're 25 minutes in. I'm bailing on the tactic, boys. Uh, we're going to put Lang up here. All right, Bergman, you are my center mid. So you're going to come back to here. 
All right, Hallam. Let's see, Anderson. Give me a minute. I got to figure all these guys out. Anderson can play wing back. Well, let's swap you. All right, that's what we'll go with. Everybody's at least close here. All right. I just need to push forward. They're frustrated. All right. Slow it down. We're getting a few more shots now. There we go. We've evened up. Oh, taken down in the box. Lindbaum's going to line it up. Can he find the net? No, he cannot. Oh, and he lumps it up into the stands. If you know, okay, I have heard a term and I do not know what it means. You know, just, but it, the cop. And Leeds has a, a, one of the ends is called the cop. But I also know that there are, I did a, I did a Google search on it. And there's evidently several, uh, damn it, uh, several clubs in England that have a section of their stands called the COP, uh, the, the K-O-P. So what does that mean and what is it indicative of? If you know, let me know down in the comments. Thank you very much. All right. Well, we're really losing possession here. Um, disappointing probably my fault for starting with the other tactic which is all right all right all right we're back into this tactic uh, let's get creative from the get-go back lines nervous oh that was not a good defensive play that was not good Oh, did you guys, I'm recording this uh, on Saturday, uh, this past Saturday from when you're going to see this on probably Wednesday, headed into the empty net, oh, come on, offsides, <sighs> at the time he headed it, he wasn't, the keeper had touched it as well. I don't think the initial starting position comes into play at that point, boys. All right, we're going to bring Frieden in for Lindbaum. Anderson for Hermanson. Let's give them some encouragement. They don't usually like encouragement. Oh, Thony looks good there. Quick one touch. Rebound, 25th goal of the season for Lang. Very, very nice. We're going to give him some, well, I was going to give him some praise, but we're not going to because it won't let us. All right. They're frustrated with the encouragement. All right. Hermanson, he holds it up, lays it back. All right. That was a little smart play, just wide of the mark. All right, is that Thony? Yes, it is. Oh, he can bend it here. Oh, he puts it in his ninth of the season. That was brilliant. That should secure playoff spores, boys. All right, we're going to praise him here. Look at the bend on that ball. Just above the keeper's arms. Very nice. All right, let's do a little time waster here. Uh, Thony, Soderstrom, and then Spinson. Five minutes of stoppage time. All right, Sundstrom into the box. Head it out. Play it back in. There it is. Lang, that's number 26. He's got a brace today. 3-0, we are going to cruise this one after the slow, slow start. Now the keepers, get, oh, and we have silverware, boys. We have clinched the league. That is brilliant. Silverware, that is always nice. Second piece of silverware in this save. 
Very nice. We really turned it around. I think we're going to scrap that number one tactic. I'm going to tell you, their keeper plays a 7.1 and gives up three goals. And ours plays a seven with a clean sheet. He did make a few saves, but still, come on. Uh, we are going to go full-blown passion. Uh, a nice victory. Well done. We have turned it around with three consecutive wins. Nine points out of three games. We have won the league. We are going up. Do we need to play the uh, second match now? Tell you what, we'll come back for the season finale. I'll play the other one off camera. But I need to get in and look at my... Uh, we win the league. Oh, uh, hold on. Oh, I'm over 300 games now. There we go. All right. But we're only at 60% for winning the league. Oh, they all get medals. Nice. They had to play at least one match. If we have somebody that didn't play yet, do we play them? Maybe. Maybe. Two goals. Excellent job. All right. Initial budgets. So hold on. If I go to finances now, is it gonna have is it gonna be changed? I bet it is. Because I wanted to look and see what it was. I have no idea. No idea. So fifty thousand and a hundred and forty thousand transfer. That's we were in what the thirties, like thirty-four. So that's another fifteen thousand dollars. Let's take a quick look. If we go up a league, right? This is the current ratings. Let's look at a team that's mid table. We may not be able to look at their players. Eh, we can we can see a little bit. Actually, you know what? Let's do let's do this. Let's do that. I want to get a team report. And let's look at one more towards the bottom end. And then let's get for probably the team that's going to be. We'll do that. All right. So we, we'll come back. I should have the team reports. I'm going to play that second match off camera. We are champions, boys. Uh, by the way. No, I haven't gotten uh, I haven't gotten my rep bump yet. I'm I, I don't I guess that doesn't go until the end of the season. But anyway, let's come back for the season finale. We'll look at the uh, winners. Uh, second championship, very nice guys. We'll see you back here in just a minute. Okay, it's not game day yet, but I wanted to come back so we could look at these clubs. So here's I K Sleipner and. Take a look at their senior squad. So there's nobody really head and shoulders above us, right? I mean, potential-wise, they've got a lot of five stars, but so do we. But, you know, two, and a half, two, two to two and a half, they've only got a handful. All right, so that's good. They're also semi-professional. Uh, Slada. They are semi-professional. Taking a look at their squad. All right. They've got a handful of guys there. Again, mostly, you know, only three players, two-star or better. So nothing there that should be super scary, right? I'm looking for the third. Here we go. Uh, so they are semi-professional. Again, poor training facilities. What'd you do? Huh? What'd you do? Why are you over here? <laughs> I've got one of my dogs just ran under the desk. I'm like, all right, well, what, uh, what'd you do here? All right, again, not. I'm not seeing a lot there to scare me when you look at when you look at our squad. I think we're I think we're pretty solid. Oh, real quick, let's see if we can re-sign Thony. Uh, we're going to call him an important player. 
and we can actually offer more money now because remember I was capped. I told you I was capped last time I tried to offer him and I thought we were going to lose him. Uh, so let's, let's remove these, move and exclude. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll do that. All right, so I need to go through and look at these guys, but I also want to see who we may have to look at uh, letting go, and I need to get seriously into scouting, right? All right, we're coming back for the last match. Uh, Phony did sign a new contract. Uh, you guys saw the offer I made for him, uh, so very good for that. All right, we are back. So let's see. I, I, I'm assuming 19 wins, new club record, points, new club point record, goals, new league record. So I would say it's a very impressive season. Can we get 20 wins? That would be huge. That would be huge. All right, let's get to it. Uh, we're gonna go with uh, we're gonna go with that. I am gonna pick rotation. I am not gonna play that keeper. <laughs> All right, so Spenson, Johansson. It's a lot of new people in there. Lang, Lindbaum. All right, we got guys on the bench. You know, we're we're playing some guys that haven't played a lot. Do this for the fans. Sure. So our second piece of silverware. I am super, super excited by that. Oh, Johansson loses it. Josephson makes a break towards the goal. Flipped over by Lane. We'll set up for a corner. What are you doing? Come here, Bo. Get out of there. Get out of there. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come on. Get out of there. My dog is freaking out. Hey, Sean. Sean. Uh, just go check around the house and make sure everything's all right. Uh, just, you know, look for... I don't know, look for everything, fires, and make sure Ann and Percy are okay, and just, I don't know, he's acting really weird. And the only thing I can think of is that I use that uh, small oven. The small oven? Yeah, the toaster oven. Well, that shouldn't have done anything. All right, he was off sides, thank God, sorry. Just, you know, they always say dogs have like a sixth sense. Boy, that was barely off sides, oh my God. <laughs> So, just uh, see if he needs to go outside, maybe. Get creative, boys. Let's, let's fire it up. Now, one of those, uh, the last match, we won 2 nothing, but we did not score until the final five minutes of the match. <laughs> so, we we snuck away with it. Uh, yes, disappointing. And you guys, watch your yellow cards. Not a dominant possession. Only one of eleven on target. All right, let's see. Spenson. I'm going to drop him back for Savard. Savard, we're going to bring on Lang. Johansson for. Evelson. And then we'll bring on Lindbaum there and Thony to the left. Let's replace that top line. It's it's early for this, but we're going to make all three subs. We're going to blow our load, so to speak. All right, Spenson lumps it forward. Lindbaum is there. He hauls it in. Oh, he blows past, drives it in. Knocked away, knocked away, knocked away. And I think the keeper went across the line. Yes! <laughs> That's what happened to the Brentford keeper today. I was talking about that earlier and I got sidetracked. But that's what happened to the Brentford keeper today. Oh, that is stellar. 
Oh, they just went hard at it there. And he stepped. Ooh, ooh, I don't know, man. But we'll take it. We will take it. 1-0. All right, hold on, boys. There's a shot in. Nice save by Lane. Come on. All right, over the top. All right, let's go into tactics here. All right, we're already tempo here. Uh, let's let's do a little time wasting. Are you under my desk again? What are you doing? I'll deal with you after I finish recording. I don't know what you want. It's odd. He he rarely comes under my desk unless it's uh, you know weather related. So, but you know they do say animals have a sixth sense. So I am a little. I'm like looking around, wondering what the hell's going on. All right, Lindbaum turns the corner, loses it. No pressure. Lang, he turns it up. He's inside. Oh, he just lays it into Wall and the keeper. Uninterested. Well. All right, Thony into the box. Lang is offsides. I tell you what, that's a heck of a season he has had, right? Boy, that's a step. A step. Over a thousand fans in attendance. That's awesome. It'll be interesting to see if we get a job offer now. I'm not positive that I'm going to look for a job. Oh, he blows it in there, Spenson. His third of the season, he just blew it into the keeper. And the keeper had the save. Just was not, not enough to deflect it off target. 23-9 to nine on shots. Another win to end the season. 2-0. And we are going to go passionate. Very happy. We end the season on a good, good run. All right, Rosengard are in the playoff. Wow, so they, they got over Carlslin and Grebestads. Wow, good for them. Motala, that's surprising. And Holmstads, 15 points. We end up with 20 wins, 64 points. Let's see if we get uh, to the awards here. I want to get to the club awards. So let's come back for that. All right. We have finally gotten to the end. Uh, our U19 club got promoted uh, to the premier Swedish U19 premier division. So that's good. All right. End of season award. Silvano Thony, 53% fans player. Andreas Anderson, goal of the season. Signing of the season on a free was Oscar Lang. And young player of the season, Silvano Thoni. Uh, we were expected to make much of the title and finish top of the pile. Very good. Uh, squad dynamics is excellent. Uh, let's see. Vision. All right. We're in progress, working within payroll. They want to, oh my God. So they want to finish top half next year. Gee whiz. All right, well, end of season. All right, discuss plans. We're going to be calm. Make the playoffs, back-to-back -back promotions. Nope, nope, nope. Top half. All right, very good. And they are on break. All right, so uh, we did have, uh, I did sign uh, all of our youth players. Uh, we let nine of them go, but we did, did have, you know, we've got some decent young players uh still have you know the clubs that we looked at were actually worse training facilities than than we have so that's good 
So what I'm going to be doing now is going in, seeing who I want to re-sign. If there's any, now that we're going up and we have a little more salary, uh, and then I want to look around and see what kind of free agents are on the free agent market. But I need to cut a lot of this dead weight. So I may just let some players go out right if I can't sell them. And, uh, you know, hopefully we'll have a few new faces uh, next season. Uh, if we take a look, all right, so a few of these guys, we're going to have to decide if we want to bring them back. I don't want him back, so he's gone. He can, uh, I'm going to let Frieden leave. Frieden, what a, what a guy. I mean, he was the guy that got us up the first season, 16 goals. He didn't play poorly this year. He, he scored nine, but he only started 12 matches, 10 off the bench, but he still played a 7 7 um, So pretty solid. I mean, I do like him, but he is 32, and, you know, he's just down the list now. See, like this guy, this guy didn't play for us at all this year. Probably need to get him up into the club. Where did he even come from? Uh, we signed him on a free. I don't know when we signed him. <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, well, he's been with us for a year, so I overlooked him. Fair play. Uh, is that somebody that I want to keep? Well, uh, that was somebody else. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to look through these. But you can see we've got a handful of guys that uh, contracts are expiring. Some of them are still good. Spenson, I may keep. Uh, we're real weak in central mid. I just had a look in the scouting. There's just not a lot of them out there. But you can see they, uh, they expire in a month. So here in a day or two, I'll, I'll start looking at people expiring in a month. And uh, I need to go in and have them start scouting the next level up. But we'll get into that. I've got a lot to do before the next episode. So we'll come back uh, with a transfer special and probably one match. Hit the like button. Celebrate our promotion, our second piece of silverware. Very, very happy with that. Uh, yeah, I don't think I really got much of a reputation boost there, fellas. Um, ah, well, what do we have to respond to? Oh, yeah, except that's cool. All right, see you guys next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye.